so this video is gonna be a review of my puns filtration system it was at the request of a couple people it's definitely not the best um, setup but it's my own DIY add-on um, filtration so I've kind of pieced it together over the last three years um, anyway 11,000 gallon pun there's a little over 10,000 gallons here in the main pun and up by that little bamboo house there is another upper pun that has plants in it that has less than a thousand gallons almost a thousand but just a little shy so this main pun five foot at that end this is 24 24 feet long five feet at that end it's a little over six feet here I have bottom drains a three inch bottom drain here and at that end below the waterfall and underneath that red feeder is TPRs or like some midwater returns or jets I guess you would kind of call them and that's the skimmer over there with the top off um, just to go ahead and show you um, I have plumbed a faucet out here to the pond that has a little pipe on it um, and that is actually metered and putting about 30 gallons an hour of water fresh water from the tap into the pond that's kind of how I do it to keep from having to do water changes so here is the filtration system skimmer number one has been in since May and that one is feeding from the three inch bottom drain and I left it dirty on purpose so you can see what it's catching um, the water it's riding high both of them are riding high right now because I just topped off the pond and did some backwashing and kind of left the water running a little bit too long but anyway you can see all of this very fine algae type stuff that used to go directly into my bead filter before I installed these seeds um, now it just saves me a lot of um, mechanical filtration in the bead filter and it catches a lot of stuff so like I said, this is the one that's been in since May, coming from the bottom drain. The water flows through this 200 or 300 micron screen, and then it's sucked out of the bottom um, by a pump. So there is no pump pumping the water into these. This is a gravity flow system. Sieve number two is being fed by a three inch line coming from that skimmer um, that I showed you a second ago. Because it's coming from that skimmer, which also has a basket in it, you can see the difference in the debris that it's actually catching. Um, because these are only mechanical, and it only catches um, basically debris larger than 200 300 microns. Both of these skimmers are being fed by a single sequence pump. This sequence pump then pumps the water into this Aquadyne bead filter that has a blower I would not get a bead filter that doesn't have a blower this churns up the beads and get them from being clumped up with junk um, and it also has a sludge drain at the bottom because you're always going to get settlement of sludge at the bottom and you need to have a um, these two components the blower and a sludge drain or else you'll have to mechanically take the top off stir it up and clean it out which is a big mess don't do it after the water goes through the bead filter so bottom drain skimmer seeds to the bead filter after it goes through the bead filter which can filter down to 12 to 15 microns it then travels to my UV 120 watts of UV but I have it split so 50% is going through my UV and 50% is going to this line which then returns up to that shower in that bamboo house that shower I'll explain to you in just a second um, but that's where it goes almost fell so this bead filter is actually being fed by a Wonderflow pump um, this bead filter is actually coming from a three inch midwater intake that I have put in the pond in the recent weeks basically and it's basically a midwater so it's not picking up all the junk off the bottom not picking up all the leaves and sticks from the top so it doesn't pick up near as much junk as the skimmer or the bottom drain. It is there just as additional mechanical filtration and additional water flow. 
and this returns back to those TPR that I told you about it does not go to the shower so that's the overview of the filtration system that I have on this pun but I'm gonna show you the bottom drain and the skimmer that goes to the bead and then to the UV it returns to this little bamboo house which is a shower not a Baki shower because I don't have Baki media if I use that type of media then I would call it a Baki shower but it's just a biological shower that contains ceramic media um, in this media let me grab a piece for you that's the media that's in it it's porous ceramic high high temperature fire ceramic and each one of those trays are stacked up with that media um, the water comes down and it cascades through it and this is where the good bacterial colony resides only put super filtered water through that if you don't filter the water before you put it into a shower or into that media it'll just all get clogged up and it'll basically turn into a place that would actually hold junk and ammonia and bad stuff so you need to have very clean water going into it <clears throat> and then it returns to this top pond which is my plant pond coming out of winter it doesn't look very planted now but by the time I get everything back in it you won't even be able to see this pond at all so there's three pipes coming out of the bottom of the shower those three pipes are basically there. Gravity is dropping the water back into this pond and sending it out. Um, you can't see, but right here where this goldfish is, you can kind of see some bags of oyster shell that I just kind of set in the pond. It won't hurt anything. They may help buffer a little bit. But right behind those bags is a TPR, so it does blow water through it from the filtration down below um, just to kind of help buffer the water and keep it moving. Um, I did put that pipe, you see a pipe to the right that doesn't have anything coming out of it. That's a bypass pipe. So there is actually a valve inside this little house that allows, if I need to work on the shower for whatever reason or take it apart, I can just turn this valve off and turn this valve on. Or because of gravity, I don't even have to turn it off. And you see it changes the flow and I can bypass the shower, take it apart, work on it, fix it, whatever, and never have to completely shut my water flow down. So anyway, so that is the shower. Um, so this plant pun is a part of my filtration system. Plants help remove the nitrates from the water. Fish release ammonia bacteria turns it into nitrites then the process continues and it turns into nitrates nitrates are removed by plants nitrites and nitrates are removed or diluted through water changes um, that's pretty much the only way to get rid of them um, so this plant pun is a huge part of my filtration to help me with my nitrate nitrates and then it returns down this waterfall it's about 18 feet in length and then it drops off back into the main pond where the fish are um, I hope this video has been helpful several people have asked for more information on it um, but this is it <clears throat> I guess one last thing I use a air stone in here which I've kind of had to move it so you can see the line over there I've had to move it um, just to keep it over here on this side because if you put an air stone, if you only have one skimmer and you put the air stone over there, the air stone basically will con create a current to keep things from gr going into your skimmer. So I had to move the air stone over to this side of the pine. Anyway, hope that video helped somebody. So have plenty of aeration, bottom drain, skimmers, flow through for my version of water changes. Um, the flow through on this pond, usually you plumb a place where the flow through is going to come out. So I'm adding 32 gallons an hour. So 32 gallons an hour is coming out. Um, usually you intentionally plumb a place for that 32 gallons to come out of the pond so that it doesn't create a wet spot in your yard. This was an afterthought and I did not do it. So once I filled the pond all the way up, 
and 32 gallons an hour um, it decided where the most unlevel spot would be when it got full and it actually is somewhere here in this wall so after this pond continues to fill up in a little bit I'll actually start seeing a trickle of water um, come right here and under the deck where it's actually topping off over this wall at some point in the future I'll add a more elaborate place somewhere on one of the edges for this 32 gallons an hour that's going in to come out somewhere else. Hope this was helpful.